by Johnny Payne at Johnny underscore Payne X Pack expresses his disappointment over missed opportunities in the past in a recent appearance on The Steve Austin Show. Former WWE superstar X Pack revealed his regrets over not working as hard as he could have during his time in the WWE. X Pac said that he feels he would have been pushed better by the promotion if had worked harder on his mic skills and been easier to work with behind the scenes, particularly during his first run with the company. Additionally, he asserted that he was always a contrarian, citing the instance when Shane McMahon roped in the services of famous band The Red Hot Chili Peppers for X Pac's live entrance music, but the latter asked for the lesser known Uncle Cracker for the same. Furthermore, X Pac explained that Vince and Shane offered to book him in a feud with Chris Jericho for the Intercontinental Championship that culminated at WrestleMania, a lucrative opportunity that he declined. In case you didn't know, X Pac, whose real name is Sean Waltman, has performed for several notable professional wrestling promotions, including the WWE and TNA GFW. The 45 year old is best known for being a part of the KLIQ, a group of top WWE superstars that influenced the promotion's major storylines throughout the mid 1990s. The heart of the Matt Pack spoke of his regret of not working hard, failing to develop his mic skills, and being difficult to work with in his heyday. If I thought anybody was messing with me, I was difficult. And also, I didn't allow them to work me more than 15 days a month and when you do that, then it kind of takes a lot of the opportunities off the table, said Waltman in Stone Cold's podcast. Speaking to Steve Austin, X Pac revealed how he turned down the offer of having a top notch band perform for his entrance music live, and instead opt for a relatively unknown one. He reminisced about the time he turned down an offer from Vince and Shane O'Mac a storyline over the IC title with Chris Jericho in favor of a meaningless feud with Kane that had already run its course. Besides, X-Pac revealed which WWE superstar's body he'd love to have as his own Randy Orton. That's just off the top of my head. I mean, there are several other guys I can think of, but, Randy, okay, Randy Orton. Man, talk about good genetics. What's next? X Pac presently works with the WWE under a Legends contract, apart from making sporadic appearances on the regional circuit. Authors take X Pac could have been a huge star had he developed decent mic skills back in the day. Nevertheless, we'll always remember the man as an important part of DX and the NWO.